Now, turning the Detroit public school system around is going to take more than just a lot of talk. People have to jump in there and really be willing to work. So tonight we're introducing you to a local couple who have deep roots in Mann Elementary School in Detroit, and they're making a big difference in the lives of kids there. That's nice. Sandra and John Dixon walked the halls of Mann Elementary on the northwest side of Detroit with pride. I remember being crowded with children. This black flooring in the hallway and these red lockers are exactly the same as when they were kids. A time when Detroit was booming with more than a million people. It was a very good experience. It, it was. I, I loved my teachers. I loved going here. It was a big part of my life, like it is these children. Sandra and John both attended school together here at Mann Elementary. The girls graduated from eighth grade in these beautiful white dresses, and the boys in suits and ties. We knew everybody, all the kids. He played with everybody in the street. You know, it was just different times. Sandra's mom saved everything from back in the 50s. This report card, graduation programs, even the napkins with their graduation date of June 17, 1953, printed on the bottom. Every big moment, especially graduation, was special back then. The experience meant so much to this couple, married now for 51 years, they wanted to give back. So why was it so important for you to come back here and reach back to these young kids who, I mean, they're not your family, but you have such a connection to them? You know, I felt, I always felt that they, the school taught me to read, and I should teach some other children to read if we could. Dad. When former emergency manager Robert Bob called for volunteers to help children learn to read throughout the Detroit public school system, Sandra and John jumped at the chance to help. And this opportunity came along for us to contribute something and you know be involved rather than you know walk away i mean just try to do something it's just a little little something and you know if you get a lot of people to do that it'll help the city come back they come here to man once a week for an hour at a time sandra meets with five-year-old andre who is quite shy but learning to read did you do that you did how'd you do that how'd you learn to do that i write it you wrote it and who taught you how to write like that? Mm. Your teacher? Miss Miss Sandy. Wow. B, B, B says B. B says S says F. When John first met with this kindergartner named Michael, he too was withdrawn, and John feared he might not be able to help him. Then one day, after about four weeks, the light bulb went off. John almost gets teary-eyed talking about it. Yeah. He ran up to me, put his arms around me, and he was ready to go. It just like night and day. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Did that touch your heart? It did. And one week when his wife had to fill in for him? He said, where is Mr. Dixon? And I said, he's not here today, but he'll be here next week. He said, he's my best friend. Oh, it's like, that's what he said. That special connection is why this reading program works not just for the kids, but for the tutors like Sandra and John Dixon, who hope their efforts to make a difference will rub off on others. I wish I could follow them all the way through high school. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Just think about that. 